In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a smart slicer like this. So here we can select 7 day, 30 days, 3 month, 6 month, current year that is 2025, previous year that is 2024 and the lifetime day train. So let me show you how to quickly create this in Power BI. So here we are, we have this line chart and we have this date table. So let's click on this date table to enable the table tools. Let's click on this new table. To create a new table so to create this kind of custom date ranges we'll have to create a new date table so let's name it as date category and here we'll calculate a variable called max date so we can take this max date or we can calculate the today's date as max date so here we'll take the max date from the date table let's create another variable called current year so this will be the uh, max date so use format function to create a year so y y y y so this will create a current year for previous year we can use so let's say shift all down to copy this and here we can say py for the previous year we'll use the year function so year of this max date minus one so this will give us the previous year uh, in the whole number format but we want in the text format i will tell you why i'm creating this cy and by so let's first create this so let's convert this into text so let's use this convert function and this will be the expression next let's return and in the return we are going to use union and we are going to union the different tables so we are going to create the tables using add columns and in the add columns we'll have to pass the input table and here we are going to pass the date range table so to create the seven days uh, date range we'll use dates in period and for the date column let's use this date column for the start date let's use max date we have a variable called max date and number of int intervals will use minus seven and this will be day let's close the bracket so this is the table next let's create a column called category and this category will have values as 7d which is seven days next i am going to create uh, another column that is the third column as sort which is to sort the category and we'll make it as one let's close the bracket so this is our first table and uh, this is the table for seven day date range we can copy this and paste it to create uh, this for 30 days so here we can say 30 d sort we can create another one and here we'll create for three months so here let's say minus three and instead of date it will be month and here we can say 3m and sort will be three let's copy this and we'll say minus six month here we'll say minus 6m sort will be four let's copy this again or we have already copied so let's paste it so next will be the current year uh, we are going to say uh, show it dynamically so the current year is 2025 so we'll have to show it dynamically here and in the date range uh, we'll use a different kind of function like dates between in the dates between we'll have to pass dates start date and end date for the dates we'll have date column start date is going to be let's use date function for that and year of the max date and show month 01 for date 01 let's close the bracket for date so this is our start date and end date we can say max date let's close the bracket and in the category we can say uh, current year so we can use the variable here cy sort can be five let's copy this and create another one and here we can use py and here it will be slightly different so we can say minus one here and this will be same the start date and for the end date we'll use this and the year will be same and for the month we can say 12 and for day we can say 31 so it's 31 december of the previous year which is correct next let's create the last one the lifetime values so for that we can say sort as seven category as lifetime and we'll use the calendar function and we have to give start date and end date so let's give minimum of the date column and maximum or let's use the max date close the bracket so we have this date table ready we need to join this date table so this date category we can join with the date table on the date column 
and make sure that cross filter direction is both click on save so that the date field the category can filter the date table and it can filter the sales date let's go to the report view and let's take a button slicer and we'll use the date category table and let's sort this category by sort so here we can use category in the button slicer and let's go to the layout in the layout let's we need one row and we can say 10 column and here we can do some formatting like uh, we don't need title go to the size and style and here we can make the background as gray make the transparency is 50 percent visual border we can enable and make it as rounded corner let's make it five pixel slicer settings we should select single select and enable the full selection so that something selected always layout is done call out values we can go here and we can make it all and enable the advanced and here we can align the horizontal alignments as center aligned and to make the values as such you now we'll go to the selection state as let's disable this advanced and we can select here default so for the default everything is fine for the selected we need it to be such a y semi bold next let's go to the button and in the buttons we can make this as uh, default for the default or let's choose all here and from shape we can say rounded rectangle and corner radius 5 background turn off border and background we can turn off so we should just go to the state as uh, selected and here we should just make the background and on and make it a white background so for the color values also we'll have to make the color as black so for the selected we'll have to make this color as black we can uh, so this is how it's looking so currently seven days is selected if i select 30 days it's showing 30 days data for three months it will show three month data six month date current year that is 2025 previous year that is 2024 and the lifetime data if you need my help and want to connect one-on-one -on -one with me you can book a call on TopMate. And if you want to buy Power BI reports along with Dataset and BRD document, you can check out the products I have here. I have provided the links in the description. See you there. These are the books that I highly recommend buying that can take your Power BI skills to the next level. These three books can cover almost all the aspects of Power BI from DAX to Power Query to the overall Power BI dashboarding. You can find the link of these books in the description. Check them out if you want to level up faster. So this is how we can create slicers smartly in Power BI. I hope you learned something from this video. And if you learned something from this video, do not forget to subscribe my channel. Till then, goodbye and thanks for watching. See you in the next video.